<clears throat> hey guys, V Scott here. Welcome to another episode of Ride Along. We're finally back, and I'm here with B Man. Hey guys, it's been a hot minute. It's just us again. I know it's been a minute. I'm sorry. I know, like I said, like I was gonna keep coming on and doing them, but hey, you guys get busy. It happens. We all get busy. And I'm sure, as a lot of you know, the past few weeks have been crazy. Back to back shows, and then we had one last night, so I'm dead tired. Huge, huge um, shout out to 416 Solo, uh, Critical Music Group, uh, Joe Wizard, uh, We Stay Woke Network, and everyone who uh, performed at all the shows. You guys were amazing. Um, how were those shows? How were they? Yeah. They were really good. So last night, oh, we were at Boombox, which is downtown Toronto. A lot of great acts. It was so, so great to uh, network with a lot of you. Um, Frosty and 1013 killed it. You guys were amazing. Last Saturday, King Shaggy, Frosty, and DJ King of the Six uh, killed it at, at Body of the Beat Part 2. And then the week before, at Body of the Beat Part 1, we had uh, a King Shaggy, DJ King of the Six, and Troublemaker. Awesome performance as well. Um, can't wait for the next show. Cool. And then this Sunday, uh, we're all going to be at... and. No, we're not performing at Tony Yeo, who is from G-Unit, who was in 56 Band. I'm sorry, 50 Cent's Band. I'm dead 56. fucking tired. <laughs> 50 Cent. You know how tired I am when I can't speak properly. 50 Cent's Band at... Fuck, I was about to call it Roundhouse. At a rec room, opening acts include 416 Solo, Iron Wind, a lot of other great acts. Can't wait for that. It'll be a sick-ass time to just chill and relax. And also, today... DJ King of the Six's new song, Here We Go. Wits is off of his upcoming album, Long Live the King. Wits is dropping at the end of June, is out now on all music streaming platforms. You can go and stream it, link down below. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Can't think of anything else, music wise. Huh. Just been busy, yo. Now it's just time Crazy. to relax in February. You know, um, 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 hit the studio with the guys. I'll, I'll work on new albums. Um, Frosty's got a new album coming out soon. I, I don't know much more about that in this, the future. This man's hustling, jeez. All of us are, man. Fuck, it's crazy. Um, Makes you wonder what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> well, you're a YouTuber, so you're amazing. Well, and I mean, also, you, you are a very important, a very important person in my life because. You're the reason why I'm doing all this, man. <laughs> oh, Without Beam, I know I'm back to the emotional. Without Beam, man, and also Troublemaker, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Always love to this guy. Crazy. Even though he thinks that he's nothing, he's always been someone. You know, like he's done the ride-alongs before well, I did. Well, YouTube certainly YouTuber. doesn't think so. He's always been a YouTuber, you know. Like, I loved his videos back in the day. How I actually met him, I'm... Like, I'm sure, like, I've told this story to the two million times... He was a YouTuber and like he did um, wrestling review videos. Yeah, it was, and I, I met was when him I was at Edmonton Town Center. Off, yeah. I was like 15 and I was with Brady at the time. And uh, he asked us to be in on one of his videos, so that's how we met. And then I and then like I never seen him again for years later until I seen well, him. Oh, we see we see each other sporadically. Yeah, but, but I never forgot your number and then we ended up getting yeah. each other's numbers and we've been close friends ever since. Yeah, that was I think at the live in 2018. Yeah, it's crazy. 2018, eh? Yeah, five wow. years now. Wow. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I can't think of anything else. I'm going to try to keep up with the ride-alongs. Yeah, yeah, well, man. I mean, if things happen, they happen, you know? Yeah, man. What's up with you, though? Oh, boy. Well, not a whole lot, to be completely honest with you. Like, <laughs> like, like usual, I, I live a pretty boring life, to be honest. Yeah. Sometimes that's not such a bad thing. How's, um, the, uh, how's the Yu-Gi-Oh thing going with um, Chris and Steve, the dueling? Uh, well, not too bad. I, we, we, well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yeah. Last night, yesterday, it was like, I had, we had like seven duels, and I think I won like two of them. That's cool, that's cool. Which, you know, wasn't bad, I guess. I but. have to get into that. Like, I know I have a deck at Dougie's, but like, I well, never play it. Well, here's the thing, like, I don't blame you if you can't, because it's a really complex game. I played it, like, as a kid, but like, I never really got back into it. I have to get back into it. Like, it Dude, sounds cool. let me tell you something right now. I've it's been playing strange. since it started, 20 years ago. Yeah. I still don't know everything. Yeah. Not even close, and it keeps changing on you. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, because I played it back in the day on the schoolyard, and chilling out with your crew in the schoolyard, finding trouble, in, never working too hard. Yeah, and then well, actually, back in the day, I'm sure like the older uh, 
people won't know. All those cards, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon and all that shit, if you robbed kids for that, that fucking stuff would go fucking solid on black market. Like, I used to, and I, I, I hate to say this publicly, I used to back in the day rob kids for that shit, and I'd make a shit ton of money selling that to other kids. Yes, I know, like, I shouldn't have done it, but hey, man, I'm a hustler. I had to make stupid, money. Stupid kid shit. I got my cards stolen a few times. Yeah, well... Stupid kid Because I never shit, had you know. them growing up, so I'm... I, I mainly just Neither did I, but I didn't go stealing cards. Okay, no, that's okay, not I true. I robbed people. For that's not true. I've stolen cards before. See, anyway, we better stop... We better he st knows, he knows. We better stop talking before we get arrested for something. Yeah, but we were under the age of 18, so that's Youth Criminal Justice Act, and now we're in our 20s. I mean... 30s and 20s so they can't say shit that's true I know the law folks but yeah man so that's cool good uh, well good I'm calling you if I ever get in trouble good <laughs> I can get my law degree <laughs> um but yeah that's cool bro um anything else going on well I, I know you didn't really watch it but I wanna uh oh. no if you wanna talk yeah. about that not really I mean I don't go out that much obviously it's too fucking cold Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to talk about wrestling? Yes, we got to. We got to. The Royal Rumble. Rumble. Weekend, oh, my God. The 30th anniversary of Raw. Oh, yo, we got to talk. That was... Which well, I actually watched. Yeah, 30th anniversary. Uh, here's, the, here's the problem. For some Let's reason, my fucking... Yeah. My, uh... When I try and record stuff, right? For yeah. some reason, like... If I'm taping NXT or yeah. if I'm taping SmackDown, it's fine. Nothing goes wrong. But some reason, when I'm taping Raw, it's like... Oh, that, that recording's not available right now. And then I try and watch it anyway. And like, it appears you have finished watching this recording. Would you like to delete it? I'm like, bitch, I haven't even started it yet. What the fuck? Wow. So it's like, so I missed like the first hour. And then I just watched the last two on the repeat. I just like yeah. had it on while I was doing other stuff. I missed like the best part of it though. This, the, the, the trial of Sami Zayn. That was crazy. Was that on Raw? Yeah. I thought we were talking week. about the Rumble. <laughs> yeah, we are, but you were talking about Raw 30, too, right? I guess we'll start with the Rumble, and, and then we'll go on to Raw 30. But well, yeah, chronologically, yeah, Raw 30 happened Whatever, first, yeah, we can anyway. have whatever you want. Well, the, well, in that case, the Rumble, that was... I went to I went to Trouble's Place to watch it, because I took the day off last week. It was nice. so... The Rumble matches itself were like... Yeah, they weren't anything too special, but they were yeah. good. The right people won, Yeah, which is good. That's not even... St I don't want to start about fucking 2022. Oh, yeah. Um, don't even get me started on that. But yeah, the the right people won. And Gunther, holy shit. You should have seen his performance. The guy went number one. He broke the Rumble record. He lasted 71 minutes. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Went number one. Went all the way to the end. It was him and Cody, number one and number 30. Cody, of course, won. So now he's going to get Roman Reigns at uh, WrestleMania. Whether or not that's going to be for both titles, I don't know. They still haven't... It, I think it will be, but I, I don't. I kind of wish it was. I kind of wish they would split the titles again, to be honest with you. Yeah. Or at the very least, if they're gonna have one main title, yeah. it should be on a guy that's not fucking part time. Yeah. Guy that shows up every week. Like you don't defend the title every single week, but show up. Let people know you're there. Yeah. Fucking have a match now and then, you know. Showcase, showcase your, your freaking. Showcase yourself, but. Yeah. So. Cody won. We know he's challenging Roman. Rhea won, and I kind of predicted this. She's going the the next night on Raw. She said she was going after Charlotte Flair, which I kind of predicted because yeah. she wants to avenge her loss from WrestleMania 36 or the pandemic WrestleMania. Um, pitch black match. I don't even know what the hell that was. A what? The pitch black match at the Rumble. Barry White versus LA Knight. The fuck? Did they do pitch black? It was like it was like. Black light and they had like neon stuff and shit. It was weird. Okay, so you could see what was happening. It wasn't like yeah. Well, I mean, because if you there's, heard there's, the there's... noises and you didn't see what was going on, see, on you start. Now, pressing. see, that would just be st that would be even that would be like too dumb, I think. But it's not even radar, so I can't do that. Yeah. I mean, the fan. I think the fans gonna dance might be able to see like a little bit, but yeah. I seen some videos of, of like him going backstage. Yeah. Pitch black match was weird, and then like for some reason afterwards they. Bray Wyatt was chasing LA Knight to like the into the crowd and then like they set up a spot where freaking Uncle Howdy dives off the top of the top of this platform whatever like 15 20 feet he totally whiffed LA Knight too and then for some reason the thing exploded it was fucking weird it was way too fucking weird women's title match was eh you know take it you could take it or leave it yeah. 
Walker retained, of course, and then Universal title match. Now, that was something, man. Friggin', uh, so, obviously, as you know, Roman retained because, it, you know, it's Roman Reigns. But then afterwards, like, holy fuck. That segment was gold, and you can never tell me otherwise. So, for those of you who might not have seen it, and I, I you know, if you're planning to, sorry for spoilers, but freaking Sami Zayn, man, he turned on the bloodline. He goes and he, he, Roman, he's like, they're, they're beating up Kevin Owens, they got him handcuffed to the ropes. The Usos are super kicking him like it's going out of fucking style. And Roman goes to hit Sam, uh, sorry, Roman goes to hit Kevin with a chair, I almost hit Sammy. He did hit Sammy with a chair, but that was after. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so he goes to hit Kevin with a chair, and Sammy actually steps in and stops him. He's like, no, Roman, you're, but this is beneath you. You don't have to do this. Roman's like, you're right, you do it. He hands Sammy the chair, and Sammy's all hesitating, like, no, I don't want to do this, whatever. And then Roman turns his back to him, and bam, hits him like freaking Seth Rollins did in 2014 when they broke up the shield. And Roman's selling of it. He sold it exactly the same way as he sold that first chair shot in 2014. So that was awesome. And then, of course, you know, uh, uh, Jimmy and Solo and Roman are all beating up Sammy. And Jay actually just walked away. Like, he, he didn't do anything. He just, they were telling him, like, yo, why are you doing this, man? This is your brother. I'm your brother. Jimmy was saying to him. And Jay just, like, up and walks away. So where'd they go from here? I can't fucking wait to find out. But apparently... I don't know if this is true or not yet, but apparently Roman's going to be facing Sammy at Elimination Chamber in Montreal for the title. So that's going to be a very interesting match. Well, yeah, that was the Rumble. I, I'd honestly, I'd give it four out of five. Like, the matches weren't, they were good. They weren't special, but that main event segment. Like, if it weren't for that, it would probably have just been a three out of five for me. But I give the Rumble an easy four out of five. Fucking crazy. And Daniel and I were both sitting there watching. We're like, whoa, this is so fucking awesome. So, yeah, that's the Rumble. That's crazy fucking Rumble. Yeah. As for Raw 30. Raw 30, yeah, like I said, I Hulk, missed the first hour. Paul Cope. Oh, why again? Because... Because oh, it's the stupid Hulk. recording. Oh. You didn't uh, watch it live? No. Well I, well, I watched, like, the replay. I watched, like, the second... second th- I, I basically, where I came in was I was watching the LA Night segment with The Undertaker. Oh, yeah, that was cool. And he came, I am American Badass. Yeah, and then he came back as American Badass Undertaker. And he actually, he put over Bray Wyatt a little bit, too. Because he yeah. was going to choke slam LA Knight, and then he just hands him off to Bray. Um, Opening of Raw 30, Hulk Hogan came out. <laughs> the microphone wasn't Did you see the mic? Oh, oh my man, God. that was funny. And apparently, um, he had surgery on his knee, so he can't feel his legs. But, yeah, like, he did his typical Hogan promo. Went backstage, and he got his 1000 bucks. <laughs> I... I like the backstage segment with fucking a Corbin and JBL in the fucking poker game. That was funny. IRS come in and he yeah. takes all, he <laughs> takes all of it. He's like, "Don't forget to pay your taxes." Yeah. Then he hands him a hundred dollars. You earned this. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was, was fucking jokes. Yeah, and then I'm trying to think of what else happened. Did oh, was there a King's Court segment? No. No, uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry King Lawler was in that. D- so this I remember this part. DX comes yeah, out. Yeah, DX it was freaking Kurt Angle of yeah. all people. I guess I mean well, if you're I'm not retired. gonna go get Billy Gunn, yeah. yeah. I guess if you're gonna get, you're not gonna get Billy Gunn. I guess you go with Kurt Angle, but <laughs> it's like uh, them and fucking Guther and good the fucking thing. yeah. Imperium, I loved. Yeah. Okay, now get this: if this were fucking Vince McMahon, yeah. Imperium would have DX would have kicked Imperium's ass. There's no question about that in my mind, right? Yeah. But thank God Triple H is booking it. They put over Guther in a big way because they're all like stepping up to him. And he's like, "No, man, I'm retired. You do it." It's like yeah. I, I haven't fought in years, man. Road Dog's like, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Yeah. And they all turn to Kurt Angle. He's like, I'm not fighting him. So they had freaking Street Profits and Seth Rollins come out. Teddy Long made it a six-man tag team match player. Holla, holla. Yeah. And then Kurt Angle's the special guest referee. It was, it was a great segment. And that's how you do comedy, right? I'm telling you. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, what was happening on Raw 30? U.S. title match, uh, Les- Lashley versus uh, Theory. Lesnar comes out and F fives them both, but he F five Theory on top of Lashley to get Theory to- the win. Which is so. I guess they're having another match, probably at WrestleMania. Although there's rumors it's gonna be Lesnar versus Gunther. So I guess we'll see. We kind of we had a little bit of a hint of La- Lesnar versus Gunther in the Rumble, but it didn't last very long. So who knows? 
I'm actually eliminated Lesnar, so who knows? We might see, we'll probably see a rubber match. They both won. You know what's weird is they both times, both guys won by shenanigans. Because, like, Lashley won because of all the interference from Roman, and then uh, Lesnar won because uh, Lashley didn't, didn't let go of the hole, and Lashley's shoulder was up, too, so there was that. <sighs> so, yeah, that was Raw 30, and I, I can't remember anything else that happened. They were supposed to, oh yeah, I remember they were supposed to have a steel cage match between Bailey and Becky, but that got tossed out because the the uh, tribal the uh, tribal court segment ran a bit long. So now they're having it this week on Raw. Oh wow! Oh, oh, did you see that fucking bumper sticker? Carbon tax me. <laughs> Carbon tax me harder, Daddy. <laughs> wow. Um. think so. Uh, NXT pay-per-views this uh, this Saturday or oh, yeah, tomorrow. Which one? Well, well, it'll by the time this comes out, it'll already happen. But uh, it's called Vengeance Day. Oh, what do they film NXT now? Same place they always did. Full sail. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're back at full sail. Is yeah, that? They're, well, they're they're traveling to Charlotte for the Vengeance Day. They travel for pay-per-views though. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time since the pandemic they've traveled for a pay-per-view. Not bad. And they're having another cage match on that show. Nice. Dear New Day or the NXT Tag Team Champions, eh? Oh, wow. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, they're defending the title in a four-way. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the wrestling-wise I wanted to talk about. Anything else you want to talk about? Can't really think of much. Yeah, I know, it's been a... It's pretty short night, I guess, because, like, I got nothing else. Yeah, and it's only been, what, two weeks since our last battle? Been three. Two, a month, three. almost. Yeah. She canceled the last two weeks. Yeah. No, because we, yeah, no, it's been a month, because the first, we went out the first Friday of January, and then uh, we, had, we skipped a week, because that's what we're doing, and then the sec- that that week you canceled. You canceled last week, so it's been a month now. Yeah, crazy. Tell me about it. Um, I guess we can wrap it up if you want. I mean, is it gonna? Oh, it's I got, one. I got nothing else I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, me neither. Do you want to just wrap it? Uh, may as well. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Not too much to talk about. Um, Are you gonna have to turn. Yeah, and I'm gonna go up the street. Yeah. Well, that, I guess that pretty much wraps things up, guys. It's uh, I know it's a bit short, but, I mean, it's been a whole month. We don't have much to talk about for no, some reason. It's, it, it, I already talked about everything that we did with the shows and stuff. Yeah, crazy. All right, guys, take care. Eh? All right, stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but don't worry. It's a short list. Yeah. See ya.